Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gary GZ Duels, and I'm here today to play some agents again. And uh, I really like agents, especially if you open up with Venus and they don't have anything like Valor or Maxi, then you basically get to plus a lot. Uh, especially also when you draw into Christia. So if you think about it, uh, at the cost of 1,500 life points, you get a free Gachi, a 2,000 attack monster that is Venus, and also a um, free Shine Ball that you can do things with. So if you happen to draw into something, um, I don't know, uh, Earth, for example, you can go into a uh, rank 2XYZ, you can go into another Gachi, or you can go into uh, maybe a Digosto Phoenix, and Digosto Phoenix would be boosted into 1,900 attack, and you're going to attack twice. So the versatility of the deck is really great. And if you take a look at all the monsters that you use currently on the field without the Earth, you have four Fairy-type monsters. So just in case your opponent gets rid of all of the monsters on your field, you can drop Christia, okay? And then you can instantly bring back, um, I don't know, Venus, and then you can summon out Venus and you can attack. So like the synergy with this deck is just amazing. So as you can see here, I just summon out the Earth. Um, the reason why I started to think about going all in uh, was my opponent set four. Now in this format, um, one of two things can happen. If your opponent sets four, he could be playing one chain burn or two, a serious deck with like uh, mirror forces and stuff. Either way is going to be okay uh, if I go into Digasto Phoenix because I'm going to prompt something uh, to happen. Now if uh, uh, he didn't do these random things like Tiki Soul and Tiki Curse, which I'll talk about later, it should be okay. And if he's uh, playing Chain Burn instead, then um, I would put significant damage on the board. So I think it's uh, very worth it to overextend, especially because I plus so much off of Venus and Earth. Now, um, he summons out Tiki Soul and Tiki Curse, which is very interesting. Tiki Soul says, um, the one with the 1,800 attack says, if another uh, trap monster battles with your opponent, you know, your opponent's monster gets destroyed. Now, Tiki, the one with the 1,800 defense says, um, uh, what does it say? If another trap monster gets destroyed, you can set it onto the spell of trap zone instead. So it's actually very, very cool. So he also plays um, Imperial Custom, as you can see, um, and it's protecting all of the continuous traps. So these trap monsters, on top of you know having the ability to attack and doing all of the stuff that normal monsters can do, they are actually protected by uh, the Imperial Custom. So they cannot be destroyed by battle. They cannot be destroyed by spe uh, spell of traps like Mystical Space Typhoon, unless I destroy the Imperial Custom first. So it's actually very interesting. Now it's a good thing that I drew into my Hyperion because uh, with this Hyperion I'm going to try to get rid of Imperial Custom or at least I thought I would until he used Bottomless. Now over here I had a tough decision. Um, if I could choose to leave uh, Hyperion B and let it be removed uh, but then I would have no answer to Imperial Custom because drawing into my three Mystical Space Typhoons, one of my three Mystical Space Typhoons is apparently difficult. Now I chose to waste the um not waste chose to save uh the hyperion because i have called the haunted so if they get rid of the hyperion which you know he has to do at a cost of his life points uh i could seriously just bring it back with my call of the haunted now he set one other card in the back row now that could be a couple of things uh, i see that you know in my graveyard, I have exactly four fairy type monsters, so I'm going to try to test out his back row with Archlord Christia. In the process, I'm going to bring back Master Hyperion because I have uh, Agent of uh, Venus in the graveyard. So I'm going to try to test out his uh, back row, see what it is. It could be a Mirror Force, it could be anything, and it is in fact a Mirror Force. I was thinking like it, it could be something like, um, I don't know torrential or whatever but I, I don't know I doubt it if it's a torrential it's still possible because uh, his trap monsters will not get destroyed since uh, Imperial custom is uh, protecting them now uh, plan B of course I'm gonna remove my agent monster I'm gonna banish the I'm going to banish one of my fairy type monsters and destroy Imperial custom now putting up my opponent in a very tough situation so he has to uh, do something with these trap monsters or play another Imperial custom but if he plays another Imperial custom without getting rid of my uh, Without getting rid of my Hyperion, my Hyperion can simply just uh, remove uh, one of the fairy type monsters in the grave and get rid of the Imperial Custom, and next turn I could just attack them. So uh, it was definitely worth saving uh, Hyperion. Okay. 
so now my opponent is going to do something random. He's going to uh, X Y Z into Zen Meister, one up Zen Meister. So I was kind of confused. So um, he flips over Massive Darkness, and that's when I realized he wants to abuse Zen Meister's effect to just keep setting uh, Massive Darkness. I'm going to use the Solemn Warning on Mask of Darkness, which is really funny. Now I don't understand why he attacks into my Hyperion. Um, he wants to play Trigodia. I guess it's okay because what he has next is he's going to summon out Exodius and yeah he's going to summon out Exodius and try to go for a rank 10 XYZ so I felt like the, the move was kind of um, I felt like it was too much um, I know that its attack is pretty high it does some damage but I think it was too much even if I didn't have the Call of the Haunted which I do I still have that tour guide and with the tour guide I can go into something like Zen Mains and I can get rid of his uh, rank 10 XYZ pretty easily so I just bring back Hyperion simply and just win the game from here basically summon out the tour guide and uh, without going into XYZ I think I still have enough uh, life points and uh, indeed I do have enough damage to finish off his life points I'm just looking at my options and it seems like the best thing to do is just to attack and then if anything happens main phase 2 I can go into my equip engineer so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to attack and he's going to surrender I hope you guys enjoy this duel this is Gary GZ Duels signing out